Today I'm going to make a collage and collage is really just gathering a collection of different types of images and creating a new image. So we're going to use some imagery, we're going to use some text and we're just going to create a picture from found material. Flick through the magazine and see is there any sort of images that just jump out to me that I that I think that I would like to use. So I have a piece of card here and I have a pit stick and I have a pair of scissors. That's pretty much all you need. So I set this sort of background to the side for the moment. I'm gonna look and see about Maybe doing something with this hair. I put the pink hair from around the girl's face here. So we might create our own face, create our own outfit and use the background and just start to play around with creating our own face. Okay, when you're sort of happy with your arrangement, now I thought the hair was too big in its normal way, so I've sort of cut it in, brought it in smaller. So we've just got a face we've created. So I'm going to press stick this on. Could actually be a mermaid. She sort of has a mermaid look, so we could maybe try and create, it, create that. Might need to go onto another piece of paper to bring the whole mermaid in, but we can do that. This is very organic. Make for seeing what happens as we go along. Now, all of a sudden, we know we're doing a mermaid. And that's just what has evolved from playing around with images, find one key piece, which was probably the hair, and then seeing what I could lend itself to. So this could have been easy, like a, as if you were doing a fashion model and we could have made a dress or we could have dressed her in jeans and t-shirts. So now we're actually just going to create a mermaid scene. So all of these green ones that we had from earlier lend itself to that. darker or lighter but just by adding in a wee bit more of whatever colour that you want. You could collage or you could actually paint in a background. So I'm going to collage from the centre out 
and maybe bring some paint elements into it as well. So I have to imagine she's actually sitting on it. So we're not going to put this over the top of her, but we're going to make sure that she's firmly seated. So I have to sort of follow the shape of her round and cut that out. Now we're actually starting to think about her composition. So we know that she's leaning on this. She knows she's sitting firmly in this ground here. So we could have this as our foreground and we can bring some maybe sea middle ground and maybe a bit of land in the background but completely cover this in the rocky grassy sort of colors so you just have to watch your edges where they are and how they work directions that they're going to be going in. So still playing around, still moving this around and seeing what suits best. Scene, you could really complete a whole fantastical image behind or we could continue with the sea something that's going to make her pop against the background and I think the blue would work with that rather than adding too much more of the same colour in so I'm going to have to go back to my magazine and see if I can find more blue pieces that we're going to use for our background I found this lovely palm tree so I've taken it and I'm going to use it as part of the background for our mermaid and we're going to add in lots of other little blue strips but we may do some painting as well so I've built up this picture of the mermaids on the rocks in front of the sea we've got some bit of detail of our tree a little banone here and um, there's loads of white still here which is where the sea and the sky meet and I think I'm actually going to use paint on this bit. So I have um, put some blue here which sort of is, represents part of the sky and some here which represents part of the sea. You can see that little bit of land which gives us a, um, a, a background so we've got our foreground, a middle or middle ground and our background and I'm just going to use a bit of paint to finish off the rest of these blues and to, to connect the sea and the sky just to help tie it all up and some little bit of darker ones which just tie up the collage and also give the impression of some sort of sparkly waves as well I'm not going to go too deep. Just keep it nice and light. We started off getting the magazine, looking at the colours, thinking of some ideas, playing around with them. Once we settled that it was going to be the mermaid, we drew the outline of the mermaid and created hair and then created something for her to sit on, created the background, started thinking about the composition and have given her somewhere to live. I hope you enjoyed that arts care workshop from the Northwest. Thank you.